guys welcome back okay so it has been a hot minute since I have done one of these videos and quite honestly it's because every time I think about doing a new releases video it's like because it's been so long there's so many things that have released that I'm just like <laughs> where do I start <laughs> there's so many mainstream things coming out so many indie brands dropping new products palettes makeup all kind of goodies so i don't know what i'm gonna touch on today but i did want to touch on a few things and all this stuff is going to be new to me right now in this video <laughs> because i haven't pre-looked up anything on trend mood or indie makeup spotlight or anything like that so i just want to touch on some trend mood stuff some indie brand stuff and just kind of check it out and actually see what's happening, okay? So let's just jump right in. So I'm gonna start with Trend Mood. Now, this first thing I see right here is from Natasha Denona. It looks like it's some liquid eyeshadows called the Chromium. Provides a water-rich jelly texture with a fresh hydrating feel while leaving an unparalleled multi-chrome finish, color changing at different angles due to the light refresh reflection $28 each hmm <laughs> I mean I understand that they change colors and all that good stuff in the light but $28 mm, I think I'm gonna have to pass they're beautiful but now that I've gotten into more shadows from indie brands that are multi-chromes that do the exact same thing and that won't dry out on me yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on these, but these are really pretty though, looking at these swatches and the packaging. I think <laughs> that's really pretty to me. The packaging looks absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, I will not be buying any of these. Not for $28, because I don't use liquid eyeshadows enough. Mine will probably dry out before I got around to it, but they real pretty though. <laughs> Okay, so here's something from Urban Decay. What is this? Okay, so it says here, Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator Medium Coverage Foundation. Is that a foundation? I guess. Well, Tinted Glow. Um, up to 24 hour wear. Interesting. And then they also have a Stone Vibe Eye Palette. 12 shades, different finishes eight shimmers for mattes it comes with a double-ended brush okay that packaging is pretty very pretty it really stands out you know someone who loves packaging <laughs> such as myself um that's something that'll make me buy it those shimmers look interesting it says creamy finish uh, I might have to try that so it says we'll keep you updated so I don't know when that's coming out or how much it is is there a price no yeah I don't know I might have to check it out I'm not that big on Urban Decay but the packaging and those interesting looking shimmers it kind of reminds me of that Huda Beauty palette though the what's the name of it I don't know but y'all know what I'm talking about the one that had the really pretty like light purples and interesting shimmers and stuff that's what it looks like to me so I don't know I might have to check that out <sighs> okay so next year it's funny because when I saw this picture I didn't even have to look at who it was from I was like that looked like some Kardashian stuff right there specifically Kim <laughs> So, okay, it says here, new collection or BFF collab, KKW Beauty times Allison Stater. I don't know who she is, which is Kim's childhood best friend. The collection includes eyeshadow palette, um, Ladera face palette, $38. The eyeshadow palette is $30. Uh, Tower Lane Face Palette, $38. Lip Crayon, $18 each. Gloss, $20. Full collection for $150. Available August 28th. So, yeah. <laughs> As usual, that's not anything that is appealing to me. I just, I don't get it. It's, I guess, you know, that's her style. That's her style. She's, like, very muted. <laughs> so, none of her stuff appeals to me. That's probably why I never buy it. Okay, so it looks like Pat McGrath has a new red supreme lipstick. 
Supreme Times Pat McGrath Matte Trance Hyperpigmented Lipstick in the shade Supreme. Coming soon, Fall Winter 2020, exclusively for Supreme New York Pat McGrath. Hmm. I love a good red lipstick, okay? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm curious to know how much that's going to cost. But it looks very, very pretty. The packaging is really cool. So, we'll see. Okay, so Juvia's Place, as I'm sure you guys already know, came out with three new mini palettes. Um, there is the Sweet Pinks eyeshadow palette, the Topes eyeshadow palette, and the Mauve's eyeshadow palette. Each one is $14. They sold out super duper quick, so I wasn't able to catch it on the first run, but when they brought some more back, I did go ahead and order me some, which I do have some right over there somewhere i just need to do a video <laughs> for you guys the pink one is so so pretty oh the pink one is gorgeous the mauve ones is too but the topes that's the one that really catches my attention because that's the one that would be a challenge for me to do a look that i actually like because you know i'm not really into the cool tones and stuff like that like this eye look i have on right now yeah i had to force myself to do it <laughs> But anywho, yeah, I do have those palettes. Very happy I was able to snatch them up and I really need to do a video using them. Okay, so P. Louise has announced that they are dropping a new collection. And of course, those colors look absolutely gorgeous to me and I have to have them. The blues, the greens, the purples, the orange, it's just, it's bomb. The whole setup is bomb. Now, <laughs> me and my girls always joke around because with P. Louise, with their palettes, you have to have a whole shelf just for their palettes because they're so huge. But, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous and the quality is bomb. So, anyways, this one is a new collection. Eyeshadow palette. What is the name? Do they have the name on here? Is it the World Palette? The destination palette i don't know oh worldy <laughs> they couldn't come up with a better name than that <laughs> it says worldy on here so whatever i guess that's the name but it looks very nice and i see that it looks like in the cover it has like sand in there their packaging is bar none just bomb so anyways there's a palette a eye brush set two nude lip duos um or you can get the pr collection it says it includes a pink suitcase lord have mercy who knows how much that's gonna be so it's available on september 1st you can get 10 percent off by using code trend mood so you save a little money there i definitely am going to try and get the palette i don't know about trying to get everything else but yeah the palette is definitely on my to-do list okay <laughs> So Peachy Queen has a palette out now. This one is called We're All Mad Here. So it's like, what is that? The Mad Hatter theme. Very cute. You can get 15% off by using code Trend Mood for this palette. 12 shades, matte and shimmer finishes, colorful with cool tones. $33.95. Um, those colors are interesting. Very, very eclectic mix of shades. With that kind of palette, it's like it grabs my attention because of the colors that are in it. But then it kind of gives me pause because I'm like, okay, what what would I do first? <laughs> you know, I always look at a palette as though I'm about to do an eye look with it. That's just how I do. And so I'm always looking at, okay, what kind of dark mattes does it have? What kind of shimmers does it have? What kind of crease colors does it have? And it looks like a decently well-rounded palette, although it is a very eclectic mix of shades. But I think it does stick with the theme of the Mad Hatter for sure. <laughs> so it's cute. It's cute. I, as of right now, I don't think I'll be grabbing it, but it is cute. So it looks like Hip Dot has a collab palette with Faced by Kareem. Never heard of that person, but the palette looks interesting. What is that, snake skin or is that crocodile? That looks like snake. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with all of my animal prints, but that looks like snake skin to me. 
but yeah so it looks like a neutral palette some warm tones a black couple of pops of color with that purple and that yellow in there uh, it's not calling to me yeah it's not calling to me that's something i would definitely pass on i've been wanting to try that hip dot i think it's the spongebob palette they put that ad for that palette on instagram like crazy and every time i see it the colors grab me but i'm like mm, yeah no <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on this. It says eyeshadow palette is $26. There's a brush set for $14, a sponge for $8, the whole set for $50. Is this out? Yep, it's available now. Okay, so a new collab. It looks like Il Maquillage and Rico Nasty. I hear that name so much, but I've never taken the time to look up Rico Nasty. I don't know who Rico Nasty is or what he does or what she does. I don't know who Rico Nasty is, but that name is intriguing. I need to look up Rico Nasty, okay? But anyway, <laughs> so this is a collab with Il Maquillage. Um, it says, so sleek, cool on the outside. It's a colorful party on the inside. It includes an eyeshadow palette with 12 shades. Um, eyeshadow palette neon range with six shades, double-ended brush, black eye pencil in Lambo, white eye pencil in Hellcat, available August 27th. Those are cute. That little palette, of course, is really cute to me. I like those pops that they have in there the color for the neon one that's cute um yeah but i think i'm gonna pass it's the packaging is really cute though but i'm gonna have to look up that rico nasty because i don't know who that is <laughs> but i like that name okay so next color rain dropped a palette okay this one is called the juicy boost it's the juicy boost collection based on the brand love for cold press juicing okay curated to have you look in your juiciest it includes the juicy boost eyeshadow palette available in two different versions so they do they have the flat one and then they have the more compact one which has two layers of palettes either one 52 bucks um yeah 52 dollars okay <laughs> 18 shades three high intensity reflect dazzlers 15 buttery smooth mattes now a lot of people might be like oh why is there so many mattes and so few shimmers you know because a lot of people like more of a balance the evenness of the shimmers to matte ratio i happen to love mattes okay i love mattes like crazy and i have a lot of shimmers I have a lot of shimmer so I never care about that I'll take an all matte palette any day but that's just my preference so anyways you can get either one for $52 um also they have an umbrella for $22 which I guess is cute <laughs> and then a tumbler for $7 so that's cute that they added the little extra items in there that you could grab if you wanted to I oh wait it says they have some new liquid lipstick shades $17 each limited edition I didn't even look at those probably a good thing <laughs> but yeah I did grab the palette I grabbed the the large flat one because I do like large palettes and so hopefully it's as good as the usual colored rain formula because color rain is bomb okay I love their palettes. The Power Palette, the Safari Rain Palette. The only palette that I don't really care for is the colorful one. I can't even think of the name of it right now. The, yeah, I don't know, but the rainbow one, not my favorite. But their other palettes, love them to death. I did order some singles from them as well to kind of get my Colored Rain singles going. So anyways, enough about me. I like the palette, so I bought it. <laughs> oh my goodness okay this picture when it just popped up it was like <gasps> my heart skipped a beat okay <laughs> this is the be perfect number three collab carnival love tahiti round three palette stacy marie mua collab oh now the drop for this palette was a nightmare okay absolute nightmare i guess they didn't learn anything from christy's drop because <laughs> this one was bad and then it was like okay 
I'm just so thankful that my girl DJ went back and checked again, you know, after all the hubbub because we were so frustrated. We were like, you know what, forget it. We don't want it. And then we went back and checked and it was available. So I think all of us got it. I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, I think all of us grabbed it. And so I cannot wait to get that little puppy in my hands. Hopefully it don't take forever in a day. But yeah, <laughs> this fella is so gorgeous. So pretty. It's $49.95 for 31 vibrant mattes, four dual shift pressed pigments three metallics two high pigment shimmers it says here the get wet highlighters are a unique creamy formula that's buildable from a soft luminous glow they also have double glazed lip glosses what else lashes and a mirror i did grab the mirror as well even though i don't use a handheld mirror it was so cute i had to grab it so yeah i was really excited about this collection and i cannot wait to get it okay okay what is this this is kind of interesting just reading the description um it says it's a glue liner glue liner is coming with colors i guess that's a, a good idea because you get a nice colored base for you know the glue for your glitter and things like that or your lash for lash adhesive that's interesting that's different i don't know if it's necessary but it's kind of cute <laughs> so it says it is precision tip water resistant eyeliner glitter and lash adhesive in one 14 dollars each clear black cocoa purple blue green yellow tangerine coral and pink available now at makeup maniacs cosmetics hmm yeah, I don't I don't know how necessary that is. <laughs> so I really don't. I mean, I guess it, it's pretty cool to have a colored base to adhere your glitter to or your lashes to. I, I don't know how necessary that is, but it's interesting. Okay, available now from Morphe Brushes. Use code TRENDMOVE for 10% off. Um, this is a new main event collection. Hmm. It includes uh, the 24M, which is the main event artistry palette, $29 with new formulas, uh, Lip Crayon Trio, $19, and Bring the Beat by M -M 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 Mitchell, six piece brush collection and belt bag. They done already started collabing with other people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> for $29 so you know what this palette is kind of interesting to me it is um I try to just kind of block out the glitter because you know even though I don't mind glitter I don't really use it a lot so I try to block that out when I'm looking at a palette um the other stuff doesn't interest me I guess the bag and the brushes they look kind of cool but the palette it has kind of like an interestingly boring feel to it if y'all know what i mean it's like yeah it's boring but then at the same time it has a few pops of color and a few textures in there that kind of make you give it a second glance like you know how you look at something and try and see well what can i do with that <laughs> you know like what what does look good in that palette and I mean, the grungy green, the orange, it looks like a really dark navy blue and a black. Uh, I mean, the glitters, while while I don't really use glitters, those do look like they probably should pop in. Um, and the shimmers are probably nice. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I might check this one out. I don't know, okay? Just because it's interesting and it's different. I like stuff that's different, so I might have to check that out because... It looks kind of cool to me. Okay, so ColourPop, of course. <laughs> What's a new release video without ColourPop? Uh, collab Collection. Candyland and ColourPop. ColourPop Land, okay? I mean, I don't want none of this stuff. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to waste my time sitting here trying to figure out what's cute and what's not. I don't want any of it. <laughs> There's a Candyland eyeshadow palette <clears throat> for $18. Princess Lolly Roller Gloss for $9. Swirled Super Shock Blushes for $9. 
glowing lip balms for nine dollars pixie puff highlighter for fifteen dollars face milk kit for twenty two dollars you can get the whole thing for 145 in the full collection set well the pr set 145 and the collection set for 118 which as i'm talking about it right now it's probably sold out because it's stuff like this it sells out like that so i wouldn't be surprised if it was already sold out but yeah none of this interests me none of it this is so washed out and bland i mean i never really played candy land but it seemed like i remember it being a little bit brighter <laughs> a little bit deeper in color but maybe not i don't know but yeah this is way too washed out for me to even give it any more thoughts so let's move on okay so fenty beauty had a big drop i'm assuming this stuff is out already because i have seen some videos but it could be you know pr videos but i think this stuff is out already and i have seen some of these items in action which has kind of made me say hmm but it says here um pro kiss lip balm shea butter formula that locks in moisture they're buildable and have a suitable suitable a subtle vanilla scent 18 dollars each pinch me coco dazzle and latte lips brow mvp wax it's a long wearing clear no residue pencil and effortless styling brush that shapes and sets your brows eyeshadow palettes 25 dollars each we got money and wine now that's what caught my eye those two eyeshadow palettes now when she came out with all of her original snap shadow palettes or whatever none of them really spoke to me but this green one it looks really cute to me and it might be my chance to try out one of the snap shadow uh, palettes, you know, since I didn't want any of the other ones. That one is cute. So those are $25 each. It says full frontal mascara in the mini limited edition shades, $14 each. Miss Merlot, which is a deep burgundy and Ivy League, which is a forest green. If you want to try and play with some colored mascara to go with your palettes, so it looks like it's available now. You know what I've been looking for? I've been looking for their skincare. Is the skincare out yet? I'm gonna have to look that up because I do want to try the Fenty skincare for sure. So anyways, I might pick up one of those palettes because I like those color stories, at least the green one. Okay, so Pat McGrath dropped some gorgeous rose decadence collection items. Mothership Rose Decadence Eyeshadow Palette, $65. Pink Champagne, <laughs> Peach Dusk, Fuchsia Flame, Hedonistic Rose, Scandalous, Golden Honey. So the what are those? Are those the shades? Okay. Mm, yeah, so those are the shades in the palette. Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine in six shades, $36 each. New Formula High Shine Lipstick with the Mira S Reflection of the Glossiest Gloss in a Balm. Lip Fetish Astral, two new shades, $36 each. Iridescent Meat Shine Hydrate Formula with a Holographic Glamour Lip Fetish Sheer Color, $36. So it's just a whole lot of Pat McGrath gorgeousness that I'm not going to partake in. I bought the divine rose and the divine rose too you know when they dropped together and everything and still haven't used them okay so while this is very beautiful i'm going to just kind of sit back and watch videos <laughs> i'm not buying any of that stuff all is really really pretty i'm a pass okay so bh cosmetics is coming out with um what looks like primer and refresh spray Hmm, let's see what do they have so it says here beach cosmetics is bringing us summer to our vanities keeping our skin hydrated refreshed and the makeup in place so this is the paradise collection so it looks like there's primers and face mist the primers are $14.50 each and the face mists are $10 each it looks like coconut watermelon very tropical pineapple okay so it looks like these should be available now i mean that's not bad pricing i mean it is bh cosmetics but ten dollars and 14.50 that's not bad to try it out just to kind of see if bh cosmetics has any decent formula for these type of items you know i don't know 
Uh, I might try them. I might. Lord knows I don't need another setting spray or a primer, but I'm curious. Maybe I'll wait until it goes on sale. <laughs> okay, so let me take a quick look at Indie Makeup Spotlight, which is my girl Amy's Instagram. Um, is it a page? My Instagram page. My Instagram. It's Amy's Instagram. <laughs> Where she, you know, kind of lists the hot new some of the hot new uh, indie stuff that's coming out. So the first thing I see here is from Unique Beauty. Uh, let's see here, Beauty Trends Mini Palettes available now for pre-order. Okay, pre-order. Um, it says you can use the code Makeup World for money off. And let's see here, okay. Those are cute. I wonder how much that uh, translates into American dollars. I don't know the conversion rate, you guys. So it says $13.99 and you can get all three for $45. So whatever that is converted into, you know, US dollars, I don't know, but um, it doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah, they're cute. They're very, very cute. If you like, you know, little bite-sized palettes, the color stories are very different as well. They're kind of unique, <laughs> as the brand's name is. Kind of unique. You know, they have brighter pops of color mixed in with some more neutral, um, warm, and cool tone shades. So, yeah, very cute. So, the Fashion Vault has new dress eyeshadow palettes launching on August the 17th, which is the day that I'm filming this. Um, at 12 p.m. EST, palettes are $22 each. You can get the bundle of all three for $60. They're cute. I like the little idea of the dress palettes and the color stories aren't bad either. They are, they're very, very cute. I won't be picking any up because it's not really anything that rocks my boat, but I think it's a very cute idea. Now, what is this? This is the new Kiwi palette from Dee Dee Signature in collaboration with Danielle Nicoli Tutorials. Hopefully I didn't pronounce that <laughs> wrong. Available now for pre-order for $27.99. The palette is set to ship on August 21st, so that's not that bad, like in a week. The official launch day. That's cute. That's cute, it really is. It's not like the typical shades of green that really draw me in. Um, you know, the more kind of cool, cool tone type greens. But it's cute though, it's different. The little kiwi design. I wonder if it smells like kiwi. Y'all think it smells like kiwi? Now if it smells like kiwi, then you all, we on to something here, but it doesn't say it does. <laughs> but I think that's really, really cute very cute oh my goodness <laughs> the looksy beauty butterfly kisses it says it's been restocked each shadow for three dollars or the entire bundle of 10 for 30 dollars now this was what three days ago so they could be sold out again i got them on the first launch thank you jesus <laughs> So I actually have them in my possession already. I just received them, I think, yesterday. I got them. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I really need to do a swatch party video for those because they're so pretty. But honey, these pictures, if these pictures don't get you, it's something wrong with you, okay? Because they are gorgeous. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they sold out again already. Okay, so Moira Cosmetics had some new bronzer duos come out, $7 each. Um, they also have like these blush duos as well. And I think I saw like a couple of like bronzer slash highlighter duos. I don't remember. But seven bucks each, not bad at all for a nice cute little duo. Um, the other day they actually had a sale like, um, I don't know if it was a buy one, get one half off or something like that on the bronzer duos. I did snag one. <laughs> so I snagged the bronzer duo a blush duo and i think i snagged one of their palettes as well because i don't have any of their palettes so i wanted to try one out but yeah i definitely took advantage of that little sale the other day i'm really excited about trying them out because i haven't tried them out at all and i've seen them hearing about youtube and instagram you know here and there 
And I want to check out one more website for indie brands. It's Indie Makeup Hotspot. So Amy's is Indie Makeup Spotlight, and this one is Indie Makeup Hotspot. I got turned on to this Instagram page from my girl DJ uh, when you know she was kind of sharing some different places where we can find more indie brands, more black-owned indie brands, and just you know all kind of nationality indie brands. <laughs> so I've really, really been finding like some kind of stuff that I never ever would have come across on my own from these different um, Instagram pages so uh, let's take a look and see what they have okay so this I hadn't even seen yet this is from shade her beauty new release collection the nude simplicity collection volume one two and three eyeshadow palettes contains 15 shades each available now for pre-order and retail for 25 dollars usd launching on september 26 so this is for one that's going to be launching next month but if you like pre-order stuff you know you like to put in orders and then in a month or two get a surprise palette in the mail <laughs> Then pre-orders might be for you. I'm not really that big on pre-orders because I like my stuff to ship as soon as I pay for it. But these are some really cute palettes. Very, very cute color stories. Okay, I might have to just wait until September and try and snag some when they actually launch. But those are really, really cute. So we have here a palette from IBY Beauty newly launched sunday brunch eyeshadow palette features 12 shades with six mattes four shimmer metallics and two duochromes for 20 dollars. oh that's not bad i mean it looks like your basic neutral palette with a pop of blue it does it's just it's it's very sunday brunch to me <laughs> so yeah you know if you're into that want to try a new brand or something but i probably have about 50 palettes already with this same color story so yeah i will pass on that one. Oh, this is cute what is this hold up what is this is this v cosmetic never heard of them full reveal and swatches of the green witch eyeshadow palette why well, i gotta be a witchy palette okay i don't like witchy spooky scary palettes all right but this palette is pretty though <laughs> cute it releases on the 31st of august Ugh. and look at those shimmers man what kind of witches are they good witches if they're good witches then you know we can roll with it if they're good witches but ah. <laughs> okay so what is this new release from bezos is it pronounced bezos bezos uh, first release palette stay pretty palette features 12 shades with one shimmer four pressed glitters and seven mattes retails for $19.99 that's not a bad price now available online okay so it's at bezos b-e-z-o-s that's a cute little palette i like the blues are those glitters four pressed glitters the four pressed glitters will will make me not buy it because I'm tired of palettes with glitter in them. Even though I don't care, I don't want them. Um, but yeah, the other colors are really, really pretty. If they were just shimmers, then yeah, I would be interested. 20 bucks, that's not bad. Oh, okay, coming soon from Mamacitas Cosmetics. Reveal of the newest palette, Orgulosa. I apologize, I know I pronounced that wrong. Or or Orgulosa. This beauty will be launching on August 26th. Palette will retail for $25. She is a beauty. She is a beauty, and I like that. Mama Cita Cosmetics, yes, I'm here for it. Okay. Yes, I'm here for it. I like that. That's cute. Is that glitters again? What is up with all the glitter? <laughs> I don't know. It could be shimmers, but it kind of look glittery to me. But yeah, I'm here for it. I like that. That is cute. Okay, $25. That's not bad. 
Okay, you guys, I think that's it. Because I'm sitting here, I'm like, I can go on and on with these new releases and just run my mouth about what's coming out. But, okay, you guys, I had to just pop back in right quickly because there were a couple of hot new releases that I wanted to mention to you guys as well. This one being a new brush set from the BK Beauty and Brick Clark. It's the basic brush set available for $95.00. Retail value $120, but you can co use code BRITCHES10, B-R-I-T-C-H-E-S, <laughs> 10, to get money off. I'm so happy for Brit uh, collabing with the BK Beauty on these brushes. They're absolutely gorgeous. So anyways, make sure you check those out. Also, Nomad Cosmetics drop their newest palette which is the orient express palette available now for 44 dollars you can use code amy loves to get money off this palette is so cute you guys i actually received this palette from nomad cosmetics so i have it here next to me planning on using it for you guys but yeah i definitely wanted to mention those two hot new releases for sure just for you guys to know about and to consider but yeah let's just jump right back in so we can end this video you guys let me know down in the comment section below as usual are you picking up any of this stuff are you interested did you grab some of the stuff that i grabbed because i'm excited i'm sitting i'll be looking out my window for the mailman every day <laughs> okay but yeah that is it you guys for my thoughts on some of the latest new releases in beauty and that's it so thanks so much for watching and i will see you on my next video Toodles.